हरिनाम संगीतन की जय शिव उपाध की जय विल स्टार्ट द प्रेयर्स ओम ज्ञान तिमरंद से ज्ञानांजना सना क्या चक्षुर्मृत तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनो विष्ण स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूपदाम ददा स्थापतांत वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रीयुता पदगमला श्री गुरू वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जाता सहना रघुनाथ तम तम सजीव साधुत सवदूत परजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादा सगना ललिता श्री उषा कामता नमा ओम विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदाता स्वामी नमे नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारने निर्विशेष श्रीनवादी पाशा देशाने वाचा गलपति गुवेशा कृपा सिंधु पतिजना पावने वैष्णव गुरु नमो नम नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नम गौर्दश नम हे कृष्ण कृपा सिंधु दीन बंधु गणपते गोप्स गोपिका कंत राधा कंत नमस्ते सप्तकांजन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषमान सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय दीनाचल निवासा नृत परमात्म बलभद्र सुभद्रा भ्रम जगत्नाथ आयते नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री हरे गदाधर शिव साधु गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so we were supposed to start from which verse 2.55 2.55 i think this is one of the answer to question number 3 क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ अर्जुना क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ अर्जुना यद संहरते चायाम पूर्मो अंगानी सर्वसह इंद्रियाणी इंद्रियाभ्य प्रज्ञ प्रतिष्ठित सो रीड द ट्रांसलेशन एज वेल एज अर्पोर्ट वन हूज एबल टू विथड्रॉ हिज सेंसेस फ्रॉम सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एज दी टॉटाइज ड्रॉस इट लिंक्स विद इन द शेल इज फर्मली फिक्स्ड इन परफेक्ट कॉन्शियसनेस परफेक्ट द टेस्ट ऑफ ए योगी डिवोटी और सेल्फ रिलेटेड टू सोल इज द He is that he is able to control the senses according to his plan. Most people, however, are servants of the senses and are thus directed by the dictation of the senses. That is the answer to the question as to how the yogi is situated. The senses are compared to venomous serpents. They want to act very loosely and without restriction. The yogi or the devotee must be very strong to the to control the serpents like a snake charmer he never allows them to act independently there are many injections in the revealed scriptures some of them are do not do nots and some of them are do's unless one is able to follow the do's and the don'ts restricting oneself from sense enjoyment it is not possible to be firmly fixed in krishna consciousness the best example set here in is the tortoise the tortoise can at any moment wind up its senses and exhibit them again at any time for a particular purposes similarly the senses of the krishna consciousness persons are used only for some particular purpose in the service of the lord and are withdrawn otherwise arjuna is being taught here is here to use his senses for the service of lord 
instead of his own satisfaction keeping the senses always in the service of the lord is an example set by the analogy of the tortoise who keeps the senses within hare krishna now krishna is answering the third question of arjuna kim asita how does he sit or how does he remain inactive in case of sensual stimulation sense objects are around how do you, does he remain inactive so one example is krishna gives here is the example of tortoise the tortoise if you see his mouth and his other limbs they remain inside the cell whenever he feels some danger and as soon as he feels there is no danger he brings them outside so that is a gross way of sense control so similarly whenever this particular yogi ha uh, sit pragya muni he sees that there is an opportunity for self realization all his senses become very active eyes nose ears everything and as soon as he see that there is a danger there is a chance of becoming victimized by the sense objects he withdraws his senses so there is a gross way of withdrawal if you see many south india temples they make a tortoise there with all the limbs outside so this is the exact analogy which is depicted in the many temples of south india Ah, uh, and now you are in temple of the Lord. Now be keep your all the senses very very active. And Prabhu uh, gives the example of snake. So snakes are charmer. He never leaves the snakes unattended. Otherwise they may also bite him. So similarly, instead of Prabhu Muni, he is very careful to see that senses are not left loose. in the presence of sense objects so that's a gross way of avoiding sense gratification now certainly most of the devotees here are uh, grastas uh, but especially in the youth those who are youth unmarried people so for them the senses are extremely turbulent So they nowadays they have gadgets of mobiles, laptops, free internet is there wherever you go. So then one also has to take some gross steps to avoid them. If you take don't take gross steps to avoid them, then especially nowadays uh, they use this artificial intelligence. They exactly know how what you want, and they are very clever in degrading you. It feel into you, attractive, and then let you do what they want. So they're extremely very very clever. So grossly also wants to try to avoid. That's why for us brahmacharis, like in my mobile, except calling messages, WhatsApp, and Google, nothing else works. No browser. so i delete everything and now does you can break the code also although they have their uh, so inbuilt system is there but still even we can break that code and delete the other applications so grossly also we have to protect so my laptop also laptop i cannot uh, use all the things so no facebook no youtube nothing so this is there is some gross protection also so grossly wherever we know we become victimized by sense of that one has to save oneself especially with the things which were our weak things weak points before coming to krishna consciousness like uh, i am certainly <laughs> so very sure because i live with so many andhra people andhra people's uh, biggest weak, weak point is movies nothing like i don't know whether some is someone is exception 
But generally, you have seen. So one movie told that I was the most sense controlled and right. I would watch only three movies a week. So then uh, that is the weak point. And different different people have different different weak points. Especially in weak things, one has to be very careful. So if you are having a problem with a the movie, then don't go and put your book table before the theater. The whole mind and attention will be there. And after the book distribution, somebody somebody may go inside the theater also. Similarly, somebody has a problem with somebody had a problem of drinking before. So then we don't go and uh, go through the lane where liquor shop is there. So similarly, so those are things. There are certain weak points which we have to be careful of. So grossly, also we have to try to avoid these things. Well, the clue is uh, visible in the movie theater. I give an example of movie. So, uh, so this is a gross way, and then further, uh, Lord continues with that. So, despite now, so one step is grossly avoid it. Even after grossly avoiding it, certain troubles may remain. So, how to overcome them is given text number fifty-nine. विषया विनिवर्तन्त निराहारस्य देहिनः रसवर्धम रसोपियस्य परम दृष्टा निवर्तते प्लीज रीड द ट्रांसलेशन दो द एम्बॉडी एम्बॉडीड सोल मे बी इंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम सेंस एन्जॉयमेंट द टेस्ट फॉर द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स रिमेंस बट सीजिंग सच एंगेजमेंट्स बाय एक्सपीरियंसिंग ए हायर टेस्ट इज फिक्स्ड इन कॉन्शियसनेस हरे कृष्ण So despite grossly avoiding, avoiding Lord says that one may not give up the taste. Now, like you are attending a class and suddenly you hear some background music of some movie song, immediately mind goes there. All the grossly we may be avoiding. So when gross attractions are there, what to do? परम दृष्टि निवर्तते परम दृष्टि निवर्तते मीन्स गेटिंग ए हायर टेस्ट सो प्रोपात गिव्स एग्जांपल ऑफ अ डिसीज पर्सन ही मे बी हैविंग अट्रैक्शन फॉर सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ इडेबल्स सो वन डजंट लूज द टेस्ट फॉर देम सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू गेट अ हायर टेस्ट सो लाइक दिस इज लाइक समथिंग व्हिच इज वेल नोन टू ऑल द डिवोटीज So even devotees, those who had a problem of, or those who had a culture of meeting, etc., before. But when they start taking prasad, they get a high taste. So the same things like meat and fish, they look very obnoxious. You can't even go near them. So that happens because of high taste. So this is one one get, one gets a higher taste, one gives up the lower taste. Another meaning of param is paramatma. So by looking at paramatma, one loses the taste for other sense objects. So in verse number fifty one, Lord was telling that how realization of atma is necessary, and in this verse he is showing how realization of paramatma is also necessary. So that means one has to get a higher taste. This is true even for gyanis, yogis, everyone. So unless until we get a higher taste in Krishna consciousness, even other karmis, gyanis, yogis, they can't go ahead. And that is why you find, although all the people may not advocate devotional service, but devotional service was a common entertainment. For all the people. So, if you go in North India, each and every city and town had a Ram Lila Maidan. So that was considered the biggest ground or playground in every place. So during the Dasara time only. So I still remember going to the top of the terrace of the houses, 
and uh, all the participants of the drama would come so first ravan sena would come how etc all the demons would go with him and then ram sena would come so all the participants of ram sena would come and that was like the preview a day before day before the ram uh, this uh, ram lila would start and then okay voice clarity is missing it's for everyone yes sir some disturbance is coming something is because of the fan and uh, i i want but if voice is not clear then yeah okay so this way uh yeah so all these people would go and that was quite excitement and practically from every in some places not all the places in some cases the generations would play the same role like from somebody's family sita is coming so all men in their family would become sita so then uh, down the generation and that was considered a prestige from somebody's family hanuman ji is coming then all the people down the line would come become hanuman ji then they would go through and then there would be ram lila it was quite a excitement normally also there will be some bhagavad gita going on some ramayan going on at some place hmm. i would still remember the doctor we would visit he would also have he would also discuss ram katha with uh, the patients so patients would go for swing and then half an hour one hour 45 minutes now they would be discussing ram katha and so the, this doctor was in ecstasy and all the patients were in ecstasy there's a patient they even they had little bit problem they would go to this doctor <laughs> fine even had little bit medicine but you would hear out of ram katha that was a culture even just it is not like very old even 30 40 years old that was a culture because still we get higher taste by coming in contact with the supreme personality of god at one cannot give up the lower taste it is not possible param drishtva nivadate so there are some question here rashi sir question i am in janito i am only okay for new fight devotees how to inculcate high taste to give up presence based on previous deeds and acts the way we gave up new people can also give up so have nice kirtans nice sankirtan nice prasad so any program sankirtan and prasad has to be there many times it's just a class may not be so appealing i remember once uh, my father was a vice principal of agriculture college so many professors were there lot of people were there he arranged some program for me and i thought uh, it is a government office so supposed to be very secular so i i i didn't plan for any kid then there i just went gave some class based on uh, yeah this all these uh, verses were there and then when I, when i was going back they were asking me swami ji was kirtan nahi hoga kya wonder yani kirtan then i was lamenting you know so and the only people attracted to kirtan and prasad so something which they like we can give them okay the santosh bro are as i said Uh, initial for new for the old and start the kitchen so the whole prayer time and many will be will go so what how can we understand is it because of their sakru uh your voice is not very clear am i audible audible is a lot of background sound is it fine from now and now the sound so better yes uh, prabhu ji as you said that uh, for the new for the old is who come for the first time please can be Uh, feed them with the sankirtan and prasadam as well then but over a period of time like many of them they leave uh, they go out like how can we understand that is it because of the dev sukruti or we supposed to take care of them some more in other way uh, how can you understand this approach see certainly one thing we have to understand is that 
in krishna consciousness we don't have the advertisement the way maya advertises things outside although we can give deeper satisfaction to the people but maya has very strong advertisement and the way you see the any movie comes the things are advertised how much advertisement is there for anyone is coming and giving a class like for this bhakti shastri class how many posters did you put in bangalore right so main thing you have to understand is advertisement is also there as soon as condition state what happens is because we are looking for sense get uh, for some enjoyment basically not sense get but enjoyment and the promises given by sense gratification are much greater than what we given krishna consciousness so that is the main thing so that's why lot of things depend on uh government if government promotes krishna consciousness then things will be very very easy but there are extreme amount of advertisement for maya as compared to for krishna consciousness so there are so many times people despite having a higher taste or getting some glimpses of the higher taste leave but especially generally what i have seen is majority of people come in krishna consciousness either between 18 to 25 or after 40 so that is general observation which i was my observation i don't know how many people have this observation but at least what i have seen in past years of preaching the what happens is there is a lot of fascination and it takes quite good amount of time for that fascination to go away so after 40 generally people see that despite so much advertisement what we were promised is not true so then what they then they start accepting krishna consciousness till then there is a lot of hope hope in this world but after 50 again why they don't come after 50 also it becomes very difficult the reason is by that time they cook up their own philosophy to adjust in this world so then new philosophy will enter inside so generally what i have seen is catching people from 18 to 25 or uh, 40 to 50 is like there this very good age group so main thing is advertisement what do say others even we are many times uh, attracted i remember once we were going to some place uh, in near kannakumari some holy place was there i still don't don't remember the holy place some south india music was going on so i noticed even many brahmachari were moving their feet <laughs> you know they were trying to hide their ecstasy but some of ecstasy were coming out so things attract it's not like especially you know antam kuntu as about pujala pratishta pujala pratishta very subtle sense gratification actual taste starts coming when we come at the level of ruchi that takes decades maybe 30 40 years of practice of krishna consciousness so then it comes till then we have to convince our intelligence through philosophy of krishna consciousness and willingly avoid it So one has to be uh, careful. So till then we have to convince intellectually. So naturally it will take time. Naturally it doesn't come so easily. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thing is, even I came to Krishna Pandit because of that advertisement, which was in hmm? the Facebook. Even I came because because that advertisement was in the Facebook. So okay. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Hare Hare. Hmm. And Krishna was showing that inability in sixty, the way all of you are uh, talking about inability. Yadato ya bi konte ya purusha sabi paschita indriyani pramatini haranti prasvam mana. The senses are so strong and impetuous 
o arjuna that they forcibly carry away the mind even of a man of discrimination who is endeavoring to control them hari krishna and even in a trans and this also purport is very good okay uh, purport there are many learned sages philosophers and uh, transcendentalists who try to conquer the senses but in spite of their endeavors even the great greatest of them sometimes fall victim to material sense enjoyment due to the agitated mind even viswamitra a great sage and a perfect yogi was misled by menaka into sex enjoyment although the yogi was endeavoring for sense control with the several types several types several types of penance and yoga practice and of course there are so many similar instances in the history of the world therefore it is very difficult to control the mind and the senses without being fully krishna consciousness without engaging the mind in krishna one cannot seize the seize such material engagements a practical example is given by sri yamunacharya a great saint and devotee who says yat yat avadi mama chetah krishna padarvindo nava nava rasa damne उद्यातम रंतुम असित तद अवादि बत बत नारी संगामे सम्रियामने बावती मुख विक विकारह सुस्तु निस्तिवानम च सिंस माय माइंड हैज बीन एंगेज इन द सर्विस ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड आई हैव बीन एंजॉयिंग एन एवर न्यू ट्रांसेंडेंटल ह्यूमर व्हेनेवर आई थिंक ऑफ सेक्स लाइफ विद अ वुमन मे my face at once turns from it and i spit at the thought krishna consciousness is such a transcendentally nice thing that automatically material enjoyment becomes this this tasteful it is as if a hungry man had satisfied his hunger by a sufficient quantity of nutrients nutrients edibles maharaj maharaj ambirisha also conquered a great yogi durvasamani simply by simply because his mind was engaged in krishna consciousness So he may be having ability to turn back the senses towards supreme lord or devotion service, but for such a person, even a single uh, senses which is left like that, it can force him, force him back into sense gratification. So for a sadhaka, whether it is a, in a bhakti yoga or jnana yoga or ashtanga or anyone, things are all, always very difficult. it's not that easy so that's why one has to constantly endeavor endeavor has to continue again and again and again and again and again it's not that easy so like a boat is carried away by the wind simply one sense also remains here and there it can carry away so it's a struggle that is the main thing so that's why uh one has to continue to struggle despite senses being attracted to the sense objects one should not unnecessarily become very very morose because anybody who has perfected must have done sadhana in this life or in the previous life without going to sadhana bhakti one cannot get perfection of life so that struggle remains struggle is always there so suddenly we have to get a higher taste suddenly we have to control our senses actually like a tortoise despite that trouble filter mein but uh, high taste also that helps or rescues us at the time of strong attraction towards sense objects so that's why each of the devotee should have some idea of our strength what our strengths or likings in krishna consciousness So there are certain things which we love in our in love in Krishna consciousness. So when our senses trouble like anything, you take shelter of those things, it becomes easier to control. 
especially when senses are too much agitated by some desire. So for generally men it is opposite sex, and for women it is the things of the world. Or for women, then it is small children. So the experience of a Hanuman person Mara Vatan. For men the attraction is women, and for women it is small children, small kids. So they have lot of attraction. So for each of each one of us, whether men and women, we have separate Maya or there is some Maya. And when things are too much attracted. So that time we should know our strength and should to shelter of them. So some devotees they like uh, chanting, just take your beer back and chant at that time. Some devotee like kirtans, take your favorite kirtans and hear for some time. Agitation will go away. For some people, it may be nice prasad. You take nice prasad now. <laughs> Or it may be for everyone, <laughs> but I would say for many people it is there. So take a nice prasad that pacifies the mind. For some devotee it would be no nice Krishna conscious philosophy. So we should identify our strengths in Krishna consciousness. We should know weaknesses also. We should not succumb to the weakness, and we should know the strengths also. So normally, whether we like or we don't like. We follow all the items of devotion service, but when the mind is in trouble, at least that time we should take nice shelter of the uh, friends. And for me, per uh, personally, uh, I get a lot of strength from chanting, lot lot of strength from reading Bhagavatam. So if I put on kirtan and read Bhagavatam, all the things evaporate. So we should know our uh, strengths. But suddenly it would be struggle. That is what Krishna is saying. So we should not be unnecessarily too much bothered, even if we fail. So struggle. Don't become morose when you fail. So don't be loose. Try to grossly control senses like a tortoise. Try to get a higher taste. And after that, even if you struggle and fail, don't worry. Continue. So without doing sadhana bhakti, nobody is going to get bhava bhakti and prema bhakti. So struggles are there for everyone. One of the saying in, uh, I think Chinese, is that uh, every criminal had a past. Sorry, every saint had a past, and every criminal has a future. Nobody is eternally a criminal. So. That's why Krishna is encouraging. Now we'll go to the next verse. Pani sarvani samyamya yukta asita matparaha vasehi yasindriyani tasya pragya pratishtataha Please read the translation. One who restrains his senses, keeping them under full control and fixes his consciousness upon me is known as a man of steady intelligence. Hare Krishna. Uh, so for this also you can read the purport. Yeah, that the highest conception of the of yoga perfection is Krishna consciousness is clearly explained in this verse. And unless one is Krishna consciousness, it is not at all possible to control the senses. As uh, cited above, the great sage Dhruvaja Dhruvasamuni picked up a quarrel with the Maharaja Ambarisha. And Dhruvasamuni unnecessarily, unnecessarily became angry out of pride and therefore could not check his senses. On the other hand, the king, although not as powerful as a yogi, as he says, but a devotee of the Lord, silently tolerated all the sages' injustices and thereby emerged victorious. The king was able to control his senses because of the following qualifications. As mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, 9.4.18 to 20. Sa vai manaha krishna padaravinda yor vajasmi vai kunta gunanu varna gunanu varnane karau hare mandira marja marjanam disu srutim chakshara chutta sat kato dayaye mukunda Lingalaya darshane drushay drushau tat brutya gatras pashe 
ब्यूटिफुल वर्सेज एक्चुअली Uh, you want to give up taste. You, you want to give up taste for uh, other songs. We can learn to recite these uh, verses. So I'll sing it once. Sure. Mm, so maybe all the devotees they can learn, learn the meters. Savai mana Krishna pada ravinda yo vacham shiva kunte guna nu varnane karo harir mandir madhena disu. शुतिम चुकारा चुत सत कथो दे कुंड लिंगा दर्शन दिशो तृत्त गा स्पर्शे अंग संगम घ्राण चतत्द सरोज सौरभे श्रीमत्सने तदर्पते पाद हरे छेत पदाणे शिरो ऋषि केश पदाभिवंदने काम च दास न तो काम काम यथोत्तम श्लोक जनाश्रया रथ थैंक यू प्रभु engaged his words in describing the abode of the lord his hands in cleansing the temple of the lord his ears in hearing the pastimes of the lord his eyes in seeing the form of the lord his body in touching the body of the devotee his nostrils in smelling the flavor of the flowers offered to the lotus feet of the lord his tongue in tasting the tulsi leaves offered to him <laughs> his legs in traveling to the holy place where his temple is situated his head in offering obeisances unto the lord and his desires in fulfilling the desires of the lord and all these qualifications made him fit to become a matpara devotee of the lord the word matpara is most significant in this connection how one can become matpara is described in the life of maharaja ambarisha श्रीला बलदेव विद्याभूषण ए ग्रेट स्कॉलर एंड आचार्य इन इन द लाइन ऑफ मत परा रिमार्क्स मत भक्ति प्रभावेन सर्वेंद्रिया विजय पूर्विका स्वात्म दृष्टि सुलभेति बावह द सेंसेस कैन बी कंप्लीटली कंट्रोल्ड ओनली बाय द सेंस सेंट ऑफ द डिवोशनल सर्विस टू कृष्ण also the example of fire is sometimes given as a blazing fire burns everything within a room lord vishnu situated situated in the heart of the yogi burns up all kinds of impurities the yoga yoga sutra also prescribe the medita- prescribes meditation on vishnu and not meditation on the void the so called yogis who meditate on something other than vishnu simply waste their time in a vain search after some uh, pantas megoria we have to be krishna consciousness krishna krishna conscious devoted to the personality of the godhead this is the aim of the real yoga hari krishna prabhu yeah. so this word as prabhupada has explained mat paraha mat para is very important mat para means my duty So without Krishna says, without devotion to me, one cannot conquer the senses. So vasya hi. So the persons who have brought their senses under control is called sthita pragya. So sadhaka is not called sthita pragya. One who has already control is called sthita pragya. But that's that becomes very easy only when one becomes devotee of the Lord. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult. 
And for one reason, reason is that devotees also have a positive engagement in Krishna consciousness. So that is also another way of uh, controlling senses. Exhaust your passion in serving Krishna. So especially the Pancharatri Vidhi is the way of purifying the gross senses. Like we do backups in the DT room. So our hands, legs, everything is engaged. We cook for the deity. We clean the temple. So then senses become purified. So that is also the way of exhausting the passion, the passion which we have. If passion is not exhausted, it turns into lust. As, as simple as that. There are similar verses where Lord uh, speaks to Uddhava in Uddhava Gita. Emphasizing on this matpara. So this is a eleven point twenty nine point two. Raya sa pundari kaksha yunjato yujanto yunjanto yogeno manaha. Visi danti asamadhanan mano nigraha karsitaha. Oh, lotus side lord, generally those yogis who try to study the mind experience frustration. That means generally if you try to control mind, it's very so swift that one is frustrated because of their inability to perfect the state of trance. Thus they vary in the attempt to bring the mind under control. So for yogis to control the mind is very, very difficult. And then the next verse Krishna says, Upat ananda dugdam padam bujam hamsa sresan aravinda lochana sukamna visve swarayoga karma bhis then mayayami vihetana manenaha. So then he says, Okay, I think this Uddha is speaking to Krishna. Therefore, O lotus eyed lord of the universe, swine like man happily takes shelter of your lotus feet, the source of all transcendental ecstasy. But those who take pride in their accomplishments in yoga and karma, fail to take shelter of you and are defeated by your illusory energy. That means, we will take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. For them, controlling mind and senses is very, very easy. For others, it's very difficult. So that's why this Mutpara, which Krishna spoke here, is like a extremely important. To become the, take the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. Okay, so this is about uh, yes, Matpara. And from 62 onwards, Lord gives the, okay, before that I'll see one question. People like Kamsa and Ruda are eternal enemies of Krishna. Or they can be elevated. Suddenly Kamsa was elevated, but people who are participating in Lord's pastimes, that is their inter eternal position only. So, Duryodhana, actually it is spoken that uh, Duryodhana is expansion of Kali. So, that is the eternal duty of participating in Krishna's pastimes. So, he was doing that. Rather, he said that he is an eternal associate of Lord Balram in the Golubindavan. So he came to play his role. But when we learn, we should learn uh, the lessons from them. Okay. So Aviram Pro. Now Anpan Mukund Pro, he has a question. Ah, yes, please. Correct. So in the echoes. Uh, in purport, uh, so here Prabhupada is mentioning, as a blazing fire burns everything within the room, Lord Vishnu situated in the heart of the yogi burns up all kinds of impurities. Yes, Prabhupada. So this is, a, I think, in general question. So generally people will ask. So Lord is situated as a Paramatma or Vishnu in everyone. But still, why they have impurities like uh, non-devotees or everyone? So Lord himself situated. But why he is doing mistakes or committing mistakes or 
all honor the all uh, what you call sense gratification all those things so how we have to answer this question lord is situated in everyone's heart but he will remove the impurities of only those people who want impurities to be removed when iso prasad one of the places propad writes that when the conditioned state lord totally cooperates with the desire of the living entity that means whatever desires you have lord will fulfill those desires and when one becomes a pure devotee one totally cooperates with the desires of lord so lord will remove the impurities only when you want impurities to be removed the point which is given here is that one cannot burn the impurities by himself it is lord who can remove the impurities like which soap should be applied for uh, killing the lust which soap will you apply which company soap is available so whether it is a lux or godrej or this and that whatever i don't know synthol none of the soaps would work so it's ultimately lord only hezantasto ya badrani vidunoti surtata so parmatma only he cleanses the heart but for those who are endeavoring for that those who want that strongly the main thing is in conditioned state to even understand that lust is my enemy is very very difficult many times or i would say we have lust because we want lust i realized that in one of the cases when uh, when we were in iit that time one of my uh, friends classmates now is like a sishi namda very good devotee about to get initiated so he just became devotee so then he was very excited like other devotees so he went in uh, around the hostel saying oh all the people should become devotees in one of the rooms he went and in those days these mobiles and other things you no know, you won't be able to access internet so all the boys were sitting in front of a desktop and watching something nonsense so then he saw them he told i'll preach to them so he went there so before he could speak they only spoke they said now come here now you also watch with us and they were telling what nonsense you are seeing you should stop it then they said now what is problem there no 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 you should not watch all this nonsense there what is nonsense in this i don't see any sense in you i am seeing all the sense in this only so then it's no no there is nonsense you know why what will happen by watching that so then they said uh, he said that uh, it will increase your lust so they said good only na lust will increase and when the lust increases how will you enjoy in the la- in life you can enjoy life only when there is lot of lust no lust means you can't enjoy this world and for first time it struck his his mind also so well, yeah really see unless and you have lust how will you enjoy so then he came to my room and he was saying hey, no you people are cheating me no i am a single son of my parents and if my lust goes away no what will i do no i also become a some uh, baba ji so then fortunately i was reading bhagavatam and topa that many places quotes this verse of tulad maharaj yan mai thona adigrah mein di sukam itch kandu yan en karivare dukha dukham tapante nah kripana bahu dukha vada kandu ti man man sidam vishehit dira So here is example of H. So H, if now suppose some patient is having H, which is compared to lust. The problem with the H is more you scratch, more it itches. Till the blood comes out. Now suppose some patient goes to the doctor and says that I have problem of H, and doctor gives him medicine. Take this medicine, apply it. Don't scratch anymore. 
so don't scratch any more means don't enjoy any more and uh, applying the ornament is like chanting holy name hari naam asadi so that is the example which we gave and propad gave in the purports then if this doctor this he says doctor gives the ornament apply this ornament and the patient says no 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 what will happen by this ornament first tell me that he said it will cure you of the itch itch and he says no 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 i want a medicine which will give me more itch i just don't want it in my hand i want in my back in my arms in my head in my face in my legs everywhere i want it and doctor says no are you crazy person why you want it all the places and the patient says and let and lie have is how will i enjoy scratching the itch khujli ka maza khujlane mein more i itches more i'll enjoy scratching it so that is exactly what happens when one watches something nonsense it increases your lust and lust is not a enjoyment it is suffering so that is the first understanding which people have to understand get see many times we even speak in lectures and hear and preach to new people but within the heart we have to convince that we don't want these answers the tendency for sense gratification is there because of that we do desire directly or indirectly we not do so intellectually but indirectly we desire these anarthas so till we desire to enjoy this world these anarthas will be there in the heart in the 1990s i remember that time uh, there was some famous movie i didn't see that some devotee saw it so they were telling so they telling it it won a oscar award because they had a powerful statement which really struck all the people greed is good greed is good why because when you are greedy you would like to work very very hard if you are satisfied why will you work so hard so many times you will find the village people they are pretty satisfied they don't work so hard like our gosal is just midway between the city and the village where i am currently sitting so there is in front of us there are 32 storied buildings are there and its flat is a 1.25 crores so it is almost like it doesn't look like india it looks like a us or some switzerland very beautiful from metal point of view and on the sides there are uh, villages when we preach to students or we preach to the it people to make them chant 16 round is so difficult but when we preach to these villagers we begin with four rounds it's not like one round and then two round and three round directly four rounds and within few months only they come to 16 rounds and what to say of that just recently Some senior devotees came at Krishnanpur, so I took him for the program. So he told uh, next week, Adasi, all of you come. I will also come. Anand Goswami Pooja also come, and five uh, thirty uh, to nine thirty will have thirty two rounds chanting. And I was like saying, "Arey, Pooja, just know these people are been chanting since last six months." I was having something in heart, but when he spoke there, and then he asked, "How many people would like to come?" All the people were ready. Why? Because the satisfied people they have a lot of time. So this greed is the cause of working very hard like a donkey. So one has to identify that greed. Similarly, envy. Now they say neighbors envy, owners pride. Right? And then owner. so people want to have envy so that they can compete so i remember when uh, we got a itj result so my father was saying that another uh, 
relative of mine, he got a better rank than me. So then father was saying, you know, he got this rank. I told very good. We should go and congratulate him. So now you're not feeling something. I know what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling, I'm telling you. You know, you're not feeling that you should get better rank. I don't feel like that. <laughs> so then the uh, main thing is, many people want that envy so that they can compete and exceed. So we have to really honestly ask ourselves, do we really want to get rid of anarthas? First thing is, we have to be convinced that these anarthas are cause of troubles. They are not cause of happiness. If one has anarthas in the heart, even if one goes to heaven, one will remain unhappy. Now, heaven has so much facilities to enjoy, despite that demigods remain unhappy because they see neighboring demigod. This fellow is enjoying more than me. No. So, they, they are not happy. So, uh, that's why that is the first step. Then we endeavor to get rid of anarthas. We pray to the Lord and then Lord cleanses the heart. So for that also we are dependent on the Lord. Anyway, this was a good background for uh, further verses. In further verses, Krishna is going to tell about the hierarchy in which a person develops lust. And then also the question. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, here, uh, one line is mentioned like uh, uh, the Yoga Sutra also prescribes meditation on Vishnu and not meditation on Void. Okay. Here, the statement is very clear we need to meditate on Vishnu, none other, any other uh, demigods. The second thing is we should not meditate on Void. Okay, but uh, currently we have seen some yoga practices like uh, Bhumi, Rapo, Nalo, Vayu, like we, we know, right? It's all uh, external energies of Lord. They are uh, focusing on Vayu. So what uh, what kind of uh, this meditation, Prabhu? This is something, if they are focusing on air, breath, breathing system, we consider that they are meditating on uh, Vishnu. So many times you have to understand the Ilyas from them whether they even believe in Vishnu. Unless until you believe in Vishnu, there is a question of meditating on Vishnu. Nowadays, so called meditation is uh, no, it is just a cheating. That's all. What do you One very famous organization, more famous than ISKCON also in India. They teach meditation on concentric circles. So they said we also have a uh, that time we had 80 brahmacharis in our temple. So we asked how many brahmacharis are there in, in your organization? So the leader of the Calcutta Center. He said we have hundred brahmacharis. And then we asked, what do you do? So he said, uh, we do generally social service, we help people, and once uh, one or two days in a week they have sadhana. And what is that sadhana? We made it on uh ten hundred circles. It was such a useless thing. No, we made it so much on concentric circle while preparing for ITG. It was not a cause of ecstasy. No, nothing comes. Really, meditation means it has to be on Vishnu. Jayato Vishayan Pumsaha Sangha Setu Pujayate Sangha Sanjayate Kama Kamat Prudhat Abhijayate. Let's continue. Oh, yeah. while, while contemplating the objects of the senses, a person develops attachment for them, and from such attachment, lust develops, and from, from lust, anger rises. rises. So, one more we'll take verse and then we'll take together. Krodha, Bhavadi, Sammoha, Sammoha, Smithi Vebrama, Smithi Bamsa, Buddhi Naso, Buddhi Nasa, Pranasati. From anger, complete delusion arises. And from delusion, bewilderment of memory. <clears throat> when memory is bewildered, intelligence is lost. When intelligence is lost, one falls down again into the material pool. Material pool, Hare Krishna. 
So, Jayato Vesen Pumsam. So, things start from Dhyan. See, we are just talking about meditation. Meditation on Vishnu is the cause of liberation. Meditation on sense objects is the cause of fall down. We will just see here. So, meditation itself is not perfection. What you are meditating on matters. You may meditate on the famous actor and actresses of your Tollywood or Bollywood or whatever, and that will lead to fall down. So, Dhyato, if one keeps on thinking of a sense object, then attachment arises. One wants that. And when one uh, attachment arises for that, suddenly, then Kama, Kama means the strong desire for these objects. Initially attachment comes and then it becomes, I want it for the purpose of enjoying. And Kama Krodo Abhijayate, if this lust is fulfilled, it turns into greed. We want more and more. And when it is obstructed, it turns into anger. We become angry at our inabilities or we become angry at some other person or we become angry at the situation, anger arises. Whenever the lust is cutted, stopped, it is fulfilled, it turns into greed. We want more and more because senses can never be satisfied. And Krodat Bhavati Samoha. Samoha means absence of discrimination. So when anger comes, person cannot discriminate what is right, what is wrong. And we must have seen among uh, within our own life also. Generally, after action due to anger, people lament. Because they do what they didn't plan. So that's another extreme cases. Like in one case, uh, Husband and wife had a fight. So the child had to be attended. Husband was saying, it is your child. Now you take care. And wife was telling, is he not your child? You take care of him. And they had a fight, so much fight that husband took the child and he told, if you don't hear me, I'll throw him out of the window. And the wife said, uh, anyway, it is your child. Throw out of the window, who, who cares? And out of the window, he threw, really threw the child out of the window. So there's many years back, and now imagine now if you try to throw the child out of window, what will be the situation out later on? So anger, in anger, person loses all uh, discrimination power. And at least one loses discrimination power as per scriptures. Guru Sadhu Shastra. We hear so many things, we speak so many things, and then we do the same nonsense which we had preached about not to do. So that happens because of Krodha. Krodhat Vayu Samoha Samoha Smriti Vibrama. So that is exactly what we are talking. Smriti Vibrama means Smritis, Shrutis and Smritis, the Vedas. So the Vedic knowledge which we have read, we forget everything. Smriti Vibrama Buddhi Naso. One cannot resolve to spiritual life. One can't have a strong commitment. And Buddhi Nasat Panasati, one falls in the hole of birth and death. Again, there is repetition. Punarapi Jannam, Punarapi Mannam. So everything begins with contemplation. Jhayato. So what we contemplate on matters. That's why earlier we stop it, earlier we can avoid the accident. Once things go beyond, it becomes very, very difficult. And many times we must have seen people doing such things or we ourselves doing such things, we can't imagine that could he do it or could I do it. It doesn't make any sense also many times. So we have seen uh, so many times, sometimes people, 16 year old boy, 
running away with a woman who is now 50 years old like pretty common in bangalore as far as i know why it doesn't make any sense now you could you don't see the age difference also and she must be of your no mother's age but when person becomes uh, lusty then brain doesn't work even if you give him hundreds of instructions things don't work now this is the exact way the advertising industry misuses the things do you also know this formula like recently just a decade ago i found a certain change in the pattern of advertisement what was new pattern in same lane at every 10 meters they put the same advertisement and i was thinking are you could have put this advertisement at some other place why spending so much money you are putting same advertisement at every 10 meters hmm? so how it works is we found a psychology so how it works is now like you are going down from a car or in a bus and you find an advertisement only vimal only vimal only vimal only vimal only vimal let us say there are 30 ads like that and at the end of the place there is a cross road you will get down from the bus or from the car and then you find a big shop where there is an only vimal so by that time what happens is you go to the shop and tell him only vimal i'll take only these clothes so that how that is how these things work and that is how people end up in purchasing something which they don't require at all like really speaking at a point of time these mobile phones were not a need of people but when there was advertisement in india mere baap ka tha ek sapna sapna hoga mobile apna that is one person dream it does not dream of all the people but nowadays husband wife can live without each other sometimes they can't live with each other also that is different story but even if they love each other they can live without each other but they can't live without mobile ah uh, from brahmacharis mobile was called, like not taken away by authorities for some time He was like, you no, know, spending a lot of time with mobile. He got psychological problems. So people can take a vow of life to stay without a woman by remaining a brahmachari, but they can't take, they can't live without mobiles. So this becomes such a so. How did it happen? It's through advertisement. The thing that we advertise so much, so much, so much. So that people can't live without it, and this is like a big, big problem for kids nowadays. Parents have a tough time to keep their kids away from mobiles. So that is how advertisement works. Something so unnecessary becomes necessary. Like recently, just uh, a week ago. Bhakti Raga Maharaj came in our temple. Now he is a propagator of one asra. So then one day he asked that Maharaj is one asra practical today. Maharaj said that every practically every class I hear this question. And then he said something which is going on since the time of Swami Manu till now, just before Industrial Revolution. you say that it is impractical or the practically people were doing it and something which people have been doing this since last one century 100 years you say that is practical so that is the power of dhayato vishampumsa something which you don't like you start liking it when it is advertised again and again and again and again anything which you keep on hearing or thinking again and again we develop attachment for that so this is science given by krishna that is how people spend so much time in advertisement or so much money
Okay, so and then Prabhupada gives the example of Lord uh, Shiva. He was attracted by Parvati, and as a result of that, Kartikeya was born. But Haridas Thakur gave initiation to even Maya Devi. So that is the power of higher taste. But certainly, he was not a sadhaka. He was like a perfected person. So in perfection, one can get. Or artificially, one cannot avoid. Prabhupada gives the example of Falgu River. Prapanjika buddhaya, taya buddhaya, hari samanke vastuna, munk suvi paritago vagar varagyam falgu kachate. So there is Falgu River in Bihar. If you go from Calcutta towards Vindavan, that river comes. It looks like dried up river from above. So as soon as you put your hand inside the sand, water comes out. So similarly, if externally person is restraining his senses, but heart is filled with material desires, things don't stay for long. That means person has restrained his karma indriya, but gyan indriya is contemplating on the sense of this. So best thing is avoid things in the first place. Before the contemplation goes very strong. Avoid it. Otherwise, things become very, very difficult. After some time, instructions don't just go on the inside. We have seen even people who are like very dedicated to spiritual master. Even if spiritual master tells them not to do certain thing, they can't hear. So beyond the level, even instruction of the spiritual master doesn't work. Even for people who are very dedicated. So that's the power of lust. Permanent. Uh, Rikishan, so here, uh, uh, example was given. Uh, there is actually purpose behind uh, why Lord Shiva was attracted to Parvati uh, for the birth of Kartikeya. So we don't know. I, I don't know why Prabhupada has quoted this example because uh, Lord Shiva is a Vaishnava Meda Sambo. He is a perfect Vaishnava. So uh, what is the context to uh, why? Yes, so why Prabhupada has quoted that? Certainly, Lord Shiva has done his uh, done, done it uh, uh, to set an example. But the example which we, he sets, we can take lesson from that. So Lord Shiva running behind Moni Murti or Lord Shiva being attracted by Parvati is an example. But even the personality like Lord Shiva. Who is not a Jeeva Tattva remains in contact with material energy for a long time because material energy is Parvati. Temporarily, even he can be attracted. What to say on living entities like all of us? But even the living entities who is not as great as Lord Shiva, he may not have 55 qualities. If he constantly remains in the contact with the spiritual energy in the form of holy names of the Lord, such a person can. Be, what to say, being attracted by Maya, either Shaka even initiated Maya. So, the lesson which we take from the whole episode of comparison is that somehow or the other, we should always remain in contact with the spiritual energy of the world. Okay. Uh, Prabhu, actually, my question is uh, related to that uh, Dhyayatan Vishyam Pumsa, which we were speaking about. Uh, like, a uh, person uh, from the beginning, if it have started Krishna Kondus, okay, by the time we have received this knowledge, it's quite uh, uh, for coming to Krishna Kondus itself, it's been very long time. So, before that, you know, uh, we have contemplated so much on the material things, and uh, our nature also becomes a habit, actually. And uh, and the environment where you are staying is also whatever we are already uh, developed a taste. Such things are being repeated in front of us only, even though we are practicing Krishna consciousness. And that desire has gone to the root. You know, uh, uh, such kind of a nature. Uh, even though we are practicing, when we hear that in a distance or something, also automatically that desire invokes again. 
so such kind of a rooted desires and all and nature it has already become uh, how is it is it possible Prabhu? what kind of a remedies we can take you know it it is uh, being an obstacle in our krishna consciousness also because since uh, we have practiced uh, we have meditated and you know <laughs> developed a taste and uh, we have uh, for uh, several years actually and now all yeah. of us are you know being practicing in krishna consciousness that is being an obstacle for our krishna consciousness so even though we know now i got the philosophy everything my intelligence everything even though it has gone it's becoming very tough to change that actually because that initial phase is already crossed actually so yeah so main thing is as far as a certain anathas are concerned we grossly avoid them is they are easy certain things take time and uh, actually speaking this like a more of a personal guidance through personal guidance we can overcome things in due course of time so certain anathas very quickly we can overcome them as soon as we come to krishna consciousness certain other things take time so as far as possible we we should change the outside environment struggle and pray for the mercy of lord and in due course of time what we have seen with the devotees is even the age helps as you become older the senses become weak and as senses become weak it becomes easier to control okay for those who have not tried it it's not easy okay. those who have not practiced their whole life but for those devotees who are like practicing with the age also things become easy okay and then there is a support from manasam also at a particular point of time no once you just retire from the affairs of the world affairs of the family and husband wife go to go out and they just go to holy place and they hear so they stay in the environment of mode of goodness which is not very agitated agitated at the same time they practice krishna consciousness so one can overcome so the practical guidance till one comes to the level especially within anath navati there are different stages so there is stage called vishesh sangra in vishesh sangra the even the attraction towards bringing forward the principle is one cannot overcome so easily yes prabhu and vishesh sangra things become very strong very strong but after vishesh sangra crosses one should not be unnecessarily thinking that krishna one doesn't work one continues practicing after vishesh sangra one can overcome that now especially for garastas many times the attraction for opposite sex now with husband wife relationship that's very difficult to overcome during due course of time what i have heard from uh, many senior garastas is especially through the duty worship practice of bhagavad gita and especially the uh, duty worship they could overcome those attraction due course of time so you have to develop attraction for someone some person other than your husband wife and that is duties because duties are a form you dress them you now like uh, you worship them you feed them so when the attraction for the duties become very strong automatically attraction for each other it becomes weak but that also takes time struggle see one thing is without struggle nothing will happen but despite struggle it takes time so once what a utsahat nishya dharya we learned in uh, anoy okay no question is also but one way overcome it why because so many other people overcame it maha jano yen gata sat so we have a hope okay so and uh, one more thing bro sorry sorry to ask this sometimes uh, you know as you said uh, you know uh, now we are practicing it actually and uh, 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 what do you say like uh, you know being in a joint family or something even though personally we are not involved you know watching televisions or uh, whatever it is but you know uh, like you know sports or anything in that way when we see their kids or play you know play uh, watching or something because our nature is already developed so we just go and stand there you know in a joint family stay there or you know, some moment or something you know and uh, after that you know any kind of instance we repent for it you know why 
we are supposed to avoid it actually why did we do it so in that case it, it goes to the deep mind and you know gives some deep, deep frustration also why so so much we have to think about it so this is also some kind of a <laughs> trouble actually so which means uh, after doing it as you said we realize you know we shouldn't have done it actually it's taking time it is taking time and also if we can make some practical arrangements also we should make okay now like even the joint families I, i don't know the what type of house you have and is that but let us say you stay in a joint family but you stay in different uh, floors mm-hmm. i think one of the families in so they have almost six seven families. like six seven families like my husband and wife six seven couples are there mm-hmm. in joint family but they have seven floors each one of occupies one one floor so something like that also if we can make some practical arrangement like that i don't know how much it is possible in your personal case then also we can save ourselves from uh, like uh, sound of television and this and that especially for the children children become attracted so see what is practically possible yes that will be okay okay hari bol thank you harish परमानंद तो मिस पर जी सो इन द एमएस वर्स आल्सो यू वर यू वर टेलिंग सो टू कम टू द स्टेज ऑफ रुचि इट मे टेक सम 30 टू 40 इयर्स एंड व्हाट अबाउट प्रभु देयर आर डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ भक्ति सो अप टू साधु संग भजन क्रिया इट इज ओके प्रभु देन आफ्टर दैट अनर्थ निवृत्ति सो इट इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट स्टेप टू क्रॉस ओवर and you are telling that there are different stages in ananta kurti so if it is time uh, is it correct at time then you can explain to um, how to practically uh, overcome this different stages of ananta kurti so when or then only we can go to nishta stage or else we will be stuck up in ananta kurti only and our devotion service will not go far the one thing is we are practicing krishna consciousness we are in asana of devotees So if you are following A B C D of Krishna consciousness, like we discussed before also, and if you are aspiring for the right thing, then these stages will go away. So these problems are not eternal problems which are going to stay with us eternally. We should aspire for overcoming them, try to overcome them, and keep on practicing Krishna consciousness. So then we can overcome them. So they will go away. They are not. We will not get stuck. It's not worry that we'll get stuck up. So there is no question of sucking up till we realize that there are obstacles and till we apply the solution. So it's not like that. No, they are so powerful that they'll be just stuck up. No, it's not like that. So continue practicing. This will happen. Don't give up. That is the main problem. Most of the times troubles come when we give up. So don't give up. Continue. and there troubles for everyone see even at very uh, like advanced stage also one remains exposed to material energy even at that time somebody can fall for some time so that's why devotees so try to protect themselves go ahead but remember one thing never give up krishna consciousness continue what will happen at the most you will lose your fame in the a uh, society of devotees that is some devotee has a anartha or like no watching movies and suddenly you are buying a ticket and your sense is pulled and <laughs> and that time some devotee looks at you and hey prove is there in the theater line and uh, not taking the ticket so what will happen at the maximum is you know you will lose your fame but losing your fame will make you more humble you can practice more rigidly that doesn't mean you keep on seeing try to avoid If after that also something happens here and there, continue. Okay, Abhiram Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Kanda Prana. Prabhu Ji, uh, sometimes we get anger with uh, family members with uh, unnecessary uh, problems, or uh, so how to avoid uh, such things because uh, they have different consciousness. Devotees, we have different consciousness. Uh, how to reduce the anger with family members or 
अंडरस्टैंड और बी प्रैक्टिकल विद योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे आर नॉट डिवोटेड दे विल बिहेव इन अ टिपिकल वे मेक अ प्लान टू ओवरकम इट सो डोंट गो इंटेलिजेंस डोंट गेट स्वेट अवे बाय योर इमोशंस एंड डोंट हैव अननेसेसरी फॉल्स एक्सपेक्टेशंस अननेसेसरी फॉल्स एक्सपेक्टेशन व्हेनेवर देयर हिंडर्ड एंगर कम्स Okay. dog barks what does the use of being angry dog will you bark only that is the work of an a dog similarly if there is a cat it will behave in a cat's way how will behave in its own way similarly parents are there parents are always protective many times i have seen no kids become very annoyed by extra protection by parents But their parents, they will look for a protection all the time. What to do? So take it positively. Then now there's sovereign affection upon you. Like even today when I go in the train, when I come back from home, go to the home, parents always give the same instruction. Was they give when I was twelve or thirteen years old? Don't go out of the train. Don't drink water from outside. Take only mineral water. Na. Don't uh, anyway. I am taking prasad only. Still, they will say no. Don't eat anything from outside. <laughs> oh, that is like no. That is parent. So why why to get annoyed? So I have those sort of expectation and understand what they mean. Not that just no getting annoyed. Oh, I am an old man or I am grown up person. Why you are speaking like that? Understand that affects you. Okay. Anything related to that? Then we'll go ahead before, or we'll go to add with other question. Sprat Jivan Puri had a question. Why Krishna's eyes, face are compared to lotus? Because lotus is the most beautiful object visible in this world. The authors of Srimad Bhagavatam. And all other devotees. Krishna is more beautiful than lotus, but nothing can be compared to beauty of Krishna. So they give the example of lotus. That's all. Okay. Now sixty-four. In sixty-four onwards, now Krishna starts uh, answering the. Last question. Brajet Kim, how does he use his senses? Till now, how does he avoid sense objects was given? But senses are not inert. You can't just keep on not doing anything. Or just no. It will like a potato in the home, or some vegetable in the home. That is not possible. One has to use the senses. So how does one use the senses? That is given from sixty four. रागद्वेश विमुक्तेस्तु विषयान इंद्रिय शरण आत्मवशेर विदेह आत्मा प्रसादम अधिगच्छति प्लीज रीड द ट्रांसलेशन बट अ पर्सन फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल अटैचमेंट एंड एवर्शन एंड एबल टू कंट्रोल हिज सेंसेस थ्रो रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ फ्रीडम कैन ओब्टेन द कंप्लीट मर्सी ऑफ द लॉर्ड हरे कृष्णा या सो वन हुज माइंड 
आत्मा इस समय से कुछ इंस्ट्रक्शन अटेंस पीस दैट मीन्स वंस माइंड आर फिल्ड विथ स्पिरिचुअल इंप्रिंट देन वन अटेंस पीस वेन माइंड इज नॉट हैविंग स्पिरिचुअल इंप्रिंट माइंड रेमीन्स एजुटेटेड so for such sit pragya withdrawal of senses through asana or engaging senses are beneficial so for a person who is internally peaceful externally there can't be any trouble externally there trouble because there is internally trouble so one is satisfied inside nobody in this world can disturb her. Again, I it is people uh, students would write different slogans. One of the slogans they would write is, "Don't disturb me. I'm already very disturbed." So when is one is internally disturbed, any small thing creates a big trouble. So one is internally peaceful can act the senses according to the scriptures. He is submissive. To the instructions of the scriptures. Internally, senses have to be peaceful. Now, what does mean by? Uh, I'll give an example for uh, understanding. Now, this for men. Let us say for men, you got a salary hike on a particular day. And then you come back here, home, you're very happy, jubilant. And wife cooks some curry la for you. The plate is not properly cooked. You take some more. Instead of putting the salt, by mistake, she has put sugar. And because you got a salary hike. How much with these external situations affect you? Then we say, "Oh, next time I put salt as sugar. No, or you may take it as a joke. You may tell to ten friends. I today got my wife yet. You know, instead of putting salt, she had put sugar. She may relish the moment. And let us say instead of, I don't say it should happen, but uh, let us say instead of uh, getting salary, I. You are fired by the company, and then you come home, and then wife gives you, na Hyderabad or something, some meat has they say, I don't remember the sweet. What kind of meat is something like that? I don't know. Some Hyderabadi under devotees speak a lot about it. Double kind of meat? Ah, yeah, double kind of meat. Yes, yes. It is a bona fide Telugu. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So now wife comes and gives you double the meter. What is the reaction? Person may think she is purposefully giving double the meter because she may be suspecting that I will be fired. And then he was shouted at the wife. Now what is this nonsense? You know, I think you knew that no, uh, I am going to get fired or I got fired. That's why you are not cooking double the meter. You are so happy that no, because I am so miserable. So the whole problem is that we are internally disturbed. External situations are affecting. Even things are very, very favorable. Same thing with the women. Also, you will see. Ah. If husband brings whatever you want, then after that, you know, somebody chastises and this and that, you may not mind. But if you don't get what you want, no house of the work of the regular work of the house looks so good but and some what is this you know i am married to a man who look treats me like a maid servant every day washing his floors cleaning the floor am i a maid servant or i am a you no know, wife what does he think about himself so then a person is so irritated why because internally you have some desires which are not fulfilled So the main problem is inside, not outside. So those who are 
सेटिस्फाइड ट्रू हायर टेस्ट फॉर देम दे कैन यूज द सेंसेस दे वॉन्ट एंड दे कैन फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स सो दैट इज द होल पॉइंट so one has to learn to find satisfaction and pleasure in krishna consciousness if you don't find it here automatically you will find it in sense gratification actually speaking we do sense gratification for the purpose of deriving that satisfaction so that is the main thing okay so this is a uh, and then further 65 सर्व जायते प्रसन्न चेतसो यासो बुद्धि प्लीज द ट्रांसलेशन फॉर वन दस सैटिस्फाइड इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस द्री फोल्ड मिजरीज ऑफ मेटेरियल एक्सिस्टेंस एक्सिस्ट नो लॉन्गर इन सच सैटिस्फाइड कॉन्शियसनेस वन इंटेलिजेंस इज सुन वेल एस्टैब्लिश सुप्रसादे सर्व दुखा नाम सो प्रसाद मीन्स मर्सी सो मर्सी डिराइव थ्रू भक्ति गिव्स पीस ऑफ माइंड इफ वन एज पीस ऑफ माइंड देन एनीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड मे गो हियर एंड देर वन इज हैप्पी एंड इफ देर इज नो पीस ऑफ माइंड इवन द होल वर्ल्ड इज वेरी कॉपरेटिव एंड गुड we are not happy we find this in the case of vyasadev vyasadev had written all the literatures he was well known as a compiler of the vedas he was sitting next to saraswati river and one was in mode of goodness things happened the way he wanted he was practicing the way he wanted Despite that, you are not satisfied. And later on, Adi Muni points out because you are not sufficiently glorified, Supreme Lord. And later on, when seeing as the Shrimad Bhagavatam, he becomes fully satisfied. Prasade sarva dukkha na. So after that, a person may accept the sense objects first for survival. not for fulfillment after that person may act as a duty beautifully the point i was speaking is before also it's not that one needs anarthas for satisfaction or anarthas for working one can work equally hard one can live normally like other people are living as a matter of duty if one is satisfied inside so dutifully also especially we have seen it happens with uh, boat is many times we don't know when we in other pro may be having this experience like many times you go to some grasta house you don't want like already you had fish for two three days you don't want any fish but then just to please that devotee you have to take Rather, one of the austerities in Congress and preaching is Congress and devotees they feel oh, Prabhu is a brahmachari. He cannot be. He cannot be getting good prasad since so many times. Let me feed him. But already he has he has taken lot of feast. <laughs> so the biggest austerity is that now you have to take in their home. But one takes it dutifully, just to please the devotees. Although we may not like it or we may not want it. so as a duty also one can act one can act like a idol husband like a idol wife krishna would act like a impact husband hindi mein call guru or gulam what our wife says he do beautifully although he was not attached, attached at all uddam hai bhav pe suna mal bal guasa so the same kinds of dwarka would make Amdev go crazy, and they couldn't make even Lord Shiva fall down. They were so beautiful, but they couldn't agitate the mind of Krishna. But despite not being agitated by them, Krishna acted like a hand-packed husband, 
ड्यूटीफुली तो दैट्स वाई ड्यूटीफुली ऑल्सो वन कैन एक्ट ऑल दो वन हैज नो डिजायर टू एंजॉय बुद्धि पर वत स्थित वंस इंटेलिजेंस कैन बी स्टेब्लिस्ड सो सच ए पर्सन इज इंटेलिजेंस कैन बी फिक्सड ऑन इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स तो द डिग्री वन हैज डिजायर टू एंजॉय सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट वन कैनॉट फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स many time determination to practice krishna consciousness doesn't come because there is excessive desire for sense gratification that's a falling of forty principles not as externally even internally that uh, makes one determined to practice krishna consciousness okay and 66 नास्तिुक्त नाचायुक्त भावना नाचा भावयता शांतिर अशांत कुतो सुखम कुता सुखम प्लीज इज द्रांसलेशन वन हु इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विथ सुप्रीम इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस कैन हैव नेदर ट्रांसडेंटल इंटेलिजेंस नॉर ए स्टडी माइंड विदाउट विच देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ पीस एंड हाउ कैन देर बी एनी हैपीनेस विदाउट पीस हरे कृष्ण and if you connect with the previous verse then how the things go is so one doesn't have a controlled mind because mind has lot of impressions of sense gratification so na pragya one's intelligence cannot be fixed on the soul soul or super soul and then there the one their intelligence cannot be fixed where the question of meditation meditation on the super soul if one cannot practice meditation one cannot have peace na and if one doesn't have peace any sense object which goes here and there agitates you and when every sense object comes passes by agitates you there no question of bliss that's why many times initially sometimes uh, when we just come to krishna consciousness we will find that uh, new people have a lot of uh, problem why outsiders are enjoy sense gratification people proji these people in the outside world are so fallen so fallen why what happened they eat no what nonsense whatever they want they keep on eating that ha ah, three times a day they watch movies they go here they go there fine they go there for and why you are having so much trouble trouble is because you are not able to do that they are able to do you are not able to do because you are at least intellectually convinced so to see that outside people even if they are trying to enjoy sense gratification they are suffering that needs a certain amount of sense control and certain amount of higher test then by seeing outsiders enjoying one doesn't feel envious towards them or disgusted towards them one feels compassionate towards them compassion comes out one feels why these people are suffering so much why they are not releasing krishna consciousness the way i am releasing so that is how till sense objects keep on traveling us one will not derive the bliss of the soul so that's why mind control is extremely important unless until one is a uh, uh, having pure impressions in the mind the oneness become difficult that's why in the vedic culture also we have this process of sanskaras Like from childhood, the sanskaras are given, so that when children have very good accumulation of good sanskaras, good impressions, sanskaras literally means impressions. So those impressions later on they help, they help to control the mind and senses. 
एंड प्रोपात गज का फॉर्मूला फॉर पीस भोक्ता राम यज्ञ तपसाम सर्व लोका महेश्वरा सुविधाम सर्व भूता नाम ज्ञाता माम शांति में रचते इफ यू फुल ट्रस्ट दैट आई एम नॉट एंजॉय कृष्णा इज एंजॉय इफ यू फुल फेथ दैट कृष्णा इज इन कंट्रोल ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड नॉट इज कंट्रोल ऑफ एवरीथिंग ही इज माय बेस्ट वैल्यूएशन फ्रेंड सो देन वन डजेंट हैव वन कैन बी पीसफुल ओके वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग इज हैपनिंग बाय कृष्णा ग्रेस इट इज गुड फॉर मी कंटिन्यू Now, sixty-seven talks about people who are not able to control mind. What happens for them? The analogy is given. Indriya nam hi charita yan mano anuvidhi yate talas harati pragyam vayur navam ivam basi. Please read the translation. As a strong wind sweeps away a boat on the water. even one of the roaming senses on which the mind focuses can carry away a man's intelligence hari krishna intelligence compared to boat and the sway of sense objects which takes away the mind is compared to unfavorable wind so similarly what happens is if mind has strong impressions to a degree wrong impressions are there the wind is also very strong so then intelligence stops working or it it becomes polluted polluted intelligence what it does it it obeys the mind very very faithfully and it starts planning for sense gratification but even to enjoy sense gratification lot of intelligence is required but that is polluted intelligence so people learn or plan how to cheat everyone enjoy sense gratification and not get caught so then that requires polluted intelligence so if the impressions are not strong once intelligence can be swayed away rather than controlling the mind and through mind controlling the uh, the senses one becomes subservient to the mind indriyani paramahor indriyo bhi paramana manasta parsa buddhir yo buddhir parsastu sa so this is the hierarchy senses are there above senses is the mind above mind is the intelligence above intelligence is the ego above ego is the soul so if soul connects with the super soul one identifies with the real identity i am servant of krishna then once intelligence which is according to guru sadhu shastra controls the mind and mind controls the senses and senses can be engaged in krishna service but if attraction of the senses for sense objects is very strong or the impressions are very strong senses and mind control the intelligence intelligence becomes polluted we start identifying our self as senses and the body even the ego becomes polluted and soul is helplessly dragged towards the sense objects because intelligence now starts planning how to enjoy sense objects without getting caught yeah i'm saying why without getting caught it's more for devotees the devotees are in a community their senses are getting caught so there are we have taken lot of uh, dosas in a particular uh, restaurant for long time so a lot of impressions are there intelligence makes a plan how to escape the sight of all the devotees and go and eat and come back <laughs> maybe we just order <laughs> so that will also happen now 68 tasma dyasya mahabaho nigrihitani sarvasah indriyani indriyarthebhas 
The Lord said, says that the way you had controlled the enemies in the past, now control your senses. So one who can control his senses can have a steady intelligence. Steady intelligence means you can be fixed in your plan. If one is not fixed in the plan, then sometimes our practice of Krishna consciousness becomes very intense. Sometimes it becomes dim. Sometimes we may get up early in the morning, chant all our rounds, and then go to the local center or temple and attend Mangal Arati there. And sometimes all 16 rounds us go and struggle, and then somehow we finish them in the night time. Trying to chant them before 12 o'clock in the midnight. So that might happen. So that's why senses have to be controlled. So Krishna is basically emphasizing on sense control. See, many times, many people, uh, they claim to be big yogis or Baba or spiritualist, even without having any concept of sense control. Like once one, uh, some senior dis property disciple came here in Calcutta, and he was like a strong class. Strong class in about uh, so one student asked a question about one we were very famous personality of Calcutta. So he said uh, that Maharaj Swamiji, what about him? So um, Swamiji was very strong. He said this fellow he was a chain smoker. So he can't be even called a saint. He is a rascal. This fellow felt so hard. Next time I went to call them. So initial days I would go and call them people for uh, printer programs. This fellow collected everyone. He was saying these fellows, they will make you give up fish. And for Bengalis giving up fish means like leaving the body only. All by the way, they said no, don't eat fish, don't eat fish, we will not come for program. So then um, I called this fellow separately. What is the problem? What is the problem with you? So then I told the whole episode. So then I told, don't take it to personality. Just understand one thing. If someone cannot control his senses and he is a chain smoker, how can he control his mind? And if one cannot control the mind, where is the question of meditation? This fellow teaches you meditation. But where is the question of meditation unless and until one controls the mind? So we are not like condemning the personality, but we are condemning the concept that one can do meditation even if one doesn't have sense control. So then now some more things entered in his head. So then further uh, in other rooms, he didn't went for with the announcement. <laughs> so we could get some, get some people. So this concept is also not very clear. So people will be sm smoking. In the people in the like in other religions, what to say of that? Other religions, the monks they wear the whole white garb from up to down, and we are victimized by even sex desire. Even they engage in so much of illicit activities, and then they call themselves as you know fathers and brothers and this and that. So then there is no question of spirituality unless until one has sense control. So that's why Krishna is emphasizing on sense control here. So at least concept has to be clear. Then one can go through the whole journey of uh, struggling and come out. Okay. Now we we'll take, uh, it's already 9 o'clock. Although three verses are remaining. We are important verses, so we will not just take them, we will take them in the next class.
fine some so we'll end here श्रीमद भगवद गीता की शिवपात की जय थैंक्स सो मच हरे कृष्ण